I'm Richard Foster, I'm a Sales and Marketing Manager for Rapido Trains UK. Just to give you a little bit of an update of our two uh, new Birmingham buses, uh, the uh, Birmingham City Transport New Look Guys and the West Midlands Fleet Lines. They're both, uh, fingers crossed, in a shipping container at the moment, uh, sailing their way towards the UK. So hopefully they should be with you very shortly. Now if you bought one of our first batch of Birmingham guys, you'll know that a Rapido Trains bus is unlike any other 176 scale bus on the market. We laser scanned the real thing for absolute accuracy. They're beautifully printed. They obviously come with lights. The steering works and they've got rubber tires. But no matter how good a model is, there are always things you can do to just make it that little bit better. One of those things is weathering. Now, in our uh, Canadian office, Dan Darnell, one of the project managers, is also an expert weatherer and modeler. I'm going to hand over to Dan now. He's going to give you some really simple techniques for you so that you'll be able to get the best out of your Birmingham bus. Over to you, Dan. All right, so the first step we have is masking off the areas that we want to make dull. And in that process, I masked off the sides of the cream area of the bus, leaving the roof and the blue areas open. Once that's done, I take it over to the paint booth and we spray on Rapido Proto Paint Flat Haze. It's a product that we came up with for fading paint. So once the uh, flat haze is finished, you can remove your masking tape and just let the, uh, the clear coat set up for 20 minutes or so. It'll dry fairly quick. Just to uh, speed it up a little bit, I used a hairdryer paint stripper gun and just very carefully allowed the warm air to blow over and set the clear coat. Then you can come back and use your pan pastels, your chalks, whatever your favorite weathering medium is, and start to fade out and do the grime. So here you can see I'm starting to put the dirt on the wheel wells and on the wheels and work your way along. I do this with the dry powdered first, and then if I want to make it more of like a rain streak or wash down effect, I take artist solvent paint thinner basically, and do a wash over top of the pan pastels and that'll let it pull to the bottom of the bus creating the pooling effect along the bottom and bringing out all the rivet detail. I also did that along in the rubber walk area at the back to give it some texture and bring out the detail better. We also did some exhaust soot and a bit of rust along the bars along the bottom of the bus and in the grill I did some dark black just to give it some depth and texture to that. For the roof, uh, I went with another product, Tamiya Panel Line Accent Color. It comes in black, brown, gray, depending on the color that you want to highlight. So up along the top, you can see I put it on fairly heavy. And then just with a paper towel, I wiped it back off and just kept working it along until it showed up into all the cracks and details and rivets and whatnot. Once that had set up and dried, I came back with black pan pastels and just did the edges all the way along the bus where the dirt would build up heavier. And that's basically the whole weathering process for this. Um, it will get one final clear coat done. And once that's set up, it can be handled and used in daily on your model railroad. And at the end, you can see here's a new bus straight out of the box and here's our weathered one. And you can see the effects between the two. Hope you've enjoyed this little video and uh, good luck. Thanks Dan. Hope you found that enjoyable and inspirational. Now, we've got 11 new, new look guys featuring previously unreleased registration and destination combinations coming soon and 20 different West Midland fleet lines. They all have lights, they all have full printed interiors and they all retail, full retail, $54.95. You can order yours from direct from rapidotrains.co.uk or from your local Rapido Train stockist.